it used to be that defense spending, a lot of it was going to uh, places like Pennsylvania and Ohio and the Midwest and South. That's actually no longer the case. A lot of this defense contractor money is near the Beltway. It's in uh, areas actually in the coast. It's not going to create jobs, uh, middle class jobs in, uh, in places that have been uh, perhaps uh, most hard hit. And there, all of the economic, economic studies show uh, that uh, you would create more jobs if you invest in infrastructure, if you invest in education. There's so many other ways in clean tech. Uh, this is not a matter of opinion, it's fact. And so when yeah. you have over 50% of the federal budget in something that is not creating jobs effectively, and we're, we're not de dealing with national security most effectively, because yes, national security is making sure that we don't face attack from other countries, but national security is also making sure we don't uh, be sus we aren't susceptible to pandemics and that we aren't susceptible to climate change. I mean, so I think it's an expansive definition of job creation uh, and national security that uh, that we're pushing for. Exactly, and I think particularly you know hypocritical at a time when uh, the Trump administration is trying to take money away from testing and contact tracing for COVID-19, you know, doesn't want to provide money to states uh, and local governments to deal with this pandemic. Um, the idea that this budget, this military budget is so enormously big and so much bigger than the Centers for Disease Control, that is the pandemic that we are, you know, in the midst of right now. And really we need to be thinking not only more broadly about uh, how we reallocate resources, but certainly in this moment, um, it makes more sense than ever.